What's up guys, we're watching Ty's iPhone Help. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the 4.3.2 firmware for the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, and iPad. Uh, this works with every device uh, aside from the Verizon iPhone 4 and the iPad 2. Just be patient guys, it will be out soon. Now, before I go any further, also let me note that at the moment, uh, it may change by the time I put this video up, iPhone 4, uh, the GSM or AT&T model, is not able to be jailbroken at the moment. They're having some issues with it at the moment, but that could be fixed in the next few minutes. So, uh, make sure you read everything in the description, and I will put notes in there, and you can see if it works, and I'll say it works with all devices. If not, it'll say, this is not working with iPhone 4 right now, don't try it. This is the untethered jailbreak. I actually just did a video on the tethered jailbreak for 4.3.2, and the untethered is already out. So, uh, let's get on with the guide. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and you don't have any problems with it. If this video helps you out, please be sure to click the like button below the video or the thumbs up button. It only takes one click uh, and it really helps me out so much. And to be updated when new jailbreaks come out for the newer firmwares or when the Verizon iPhone or iPad 2 is jailbroken, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the little Ties iPhone Hub logo down there and it'll send you to a new YouTube page and you can confirm your subscription. That way you know when I post new videos uh, on your YouTube homepage. So now let's get on with the guide. So you're going to need to download a few things to get started with this. You're going to need to download Red Snow and you're going to need to download the 4.3.2 firmware for your device. Make sure you save both of these to your desktop. Uh, fortunately I have a link uh, for you right below the video. If you'll go ahead and click it'll say download dash and then there's the link. Just go ahead and click that. It'll take you to my website and you'll see the Red Snow download for Windows or uh, Mac and you will see the 4.3.2 firmware for lots of devices. Uh, just make sure you select the right one, save everything to your desktop, and let's go from there. So assuming you've downloaded everything, go ahead and open up the Red Snow folder, and you should see the Red Snow app. Uh, go ahead and open it up. Uh, just hit open right there. I, I've already got my iPod Touch 4th generation plugged to my computer and turned off, so we are prepared. Go ahead and get that ready. Uh, if you haven't, if you need to, just go ahead and pause the video and come back. Uh, now we're going to open up Red Snow, go to Browse, and we're going to find the 4.3.2 firmware that we saved uh, to our desktop. It's easier to do that just so you can find it easier. Uh, so let's go ahead and double click on that. Processing the firmware. Okay, that says uh, IPSW successfully identified. Let's go ahead and hit Next and uh, let it do its thing here. It's got to prepare the jailbreak data. Alrighty then. That was weird. Alright, so uh, now we can do this, and make sure you have install Cydia checked. That's the only one you actually need to have checked. Uh, you can do the enable battery percentage. I recommend you do it because it's just a pretty cool feature, and you can turn it off if you don't like it anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit next. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put our device in a DFU mode. Quickly, let me explain. Uh, so uh, you need your device turned off. You need to plug up to your computer. And uh, basically what we're going to do is hold the top button or the power button on top of your device for three seconds. And then you're going to continue holding the power button and press the home button in. That's the one right here on the bottom of your device. And then you're going to hold both of those in for 10 seconds. Then release the power button on top and keep holding the home button uh, for about 30 more seconds. It's pretty simple. If you mess up, uh, you can go ahead and turn your iPod off. Try again. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to hit next. And here we go. Three, two, one. Now I'm holding both buttons in. Or notice I did not release the power button. I don't know if you actually could notice that, but here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. So I just released the power button, and I'm continuing to hold the home button. And let's let's get back. Do you guys you guys notice this? Remember this from any old video how I'm wearing my hat right now? Okay, so let it do its thing, exploding with lime rain. This is actually my most viewed video. I had my hair like this a long time ago. Uh, actually, once you get to here, uh, downloading jailbreak data, and you see the little image on your screen, you can now release the home button, and uh, we'll, well, that's actually done now. But let it do its thing. I run its code, and then I'll come back once it's done. Just be patient. Don't unplug it. Don't do anything. So there we go. The iPod Touch is now rebooted, and we should have the city icon. There we go. So we got Cydia. Uh, go ahead and give your iPod, iPhone, iPad a reboot, and that should work uh, perfectly for you. So there you go. You got a jailbroken uh, iPhone, iPod, Touch, or iPad on 4.3.2, and it is untethered. So none of that stupid rebooting crap. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, if it helped you out, if it worked for you, please leave a like on this video or a thumbs up. I really, really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos because you want to be updated when the new jailbreaks and stuff come out, right? So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.